of the city I want to give you the map. Part of the region is in the plain and part of the mountain. A land of farmer, family run, small company are the food agricultural sector. We are going to be in Verona for two nights. So tomorrow is the day in which we are going to Mantua. Now we cross uh, the river, the river Adige. On the left you can see a little bit of the view, the hills. Here on the right, on the other side of the bridge, where you see the light yellow buildings, we had the Roman walls, the garden town, Castel Vecchio, the old castle, the Middle Ages walls. We stopped destroyed by the floods in the Middle Ages and rebuilt by our lords in bricks. And then it was destroyed again the last night of the Second World War. In April 1945, all the bridges were blown up. Verona was still occupied by the Germans, so the Germans, in order to be sure to have enough time to escape, it was rebuilt in the 1950s using the material which was in the water. That smells good. A kind of battle, street battle, with the students of another lyceum which is on the other side of the Ponte Pietra. So in this part, remember, because uh, it is uh, the area from where we get marble and wine. So if you want to taste the local wine, but Policella is a good one. Tengo Palafiata. Tilt, il because they want something which could have been remembered for centuries. The real course, we bought the organs inside, so they analyze everything, and they realized that he has a poison, he still has a poison in his throat and in his intestines. Their family name was Scala, name was Scala Fiat. One of the daughters of this Massino married one of the sons of the Milano. She commissioned the church called Santa Maria alla Scala, a Milano. covered by wooden scaffoldings and by cement so they could preserve them until the end of the war. Power Lords who fought Verona. Toward the end of the square you can see the lion behind the lion, the Baroque style building. I give you a clue. Il cone deve esagerare per via. Poi tu vai più una gelata. Poi tu take some energy and then you know that the lunch will be included in some of the years. season in the Roman amphitheater is also we have operas from the end of June to the end of August only two months five six operas performed and I think that after our tour this morning you will feel at home and go around on your own
church dedicated to our Saint Patrona. Zeno was a bishop fourth century after Christ from Northern Africa. He had such a simple way to preach, all the citizens became Christian. The Basilica of Saint Zeno, Abbey Tower on the left, the Bell Tower on the right. The Wheel of Fortune, representing six human figures, king on top, the man in despair at its bottom. Two lions support the columns of the port. wooden ribbed vault ceiling divided in three naves and three levels. The balustrade situated between the side steps is adorned with marble statues that depict Christ and the Apostles. The right wall of the upper church is votive images, as well as St. George slaying the dragon. Altarpiece by Andrea Mantegna paid tribute to the Basilica by making reference to the Romanesque rose window in the representation of the halo above the Virgin, completed by 1460. The triptych remained at San Zeno's until 1797, when it was transferred to France as Napoleonic booty. In 1815, it was returned. Benevolent smile, the patron saint of the bishop, who is seen holding a crozier with a fish attached. The remains of Saint Zeno are kept in a crystal urn in the crypt, dressed in episcopal clothes, and his face covered with a silver.
walk a little bit uphill because this area where they are digging at the moment <laughs> is the oldest area. The first Etruscan settlement was here, 5th century BC. So where you see the cathedral, there were temples. First cathedral was built on top of the Roman remain, just the bell tower. It is left of the 11th century, that's Romanesque replaced by a new church in gothic style and that's the right hand side in red bricks with that beautiful facade uh, it was built at the intersection of the two main roman roads now we really have to go castle was turned into a residence. They lost their defensive purpose, straight walls, square plans. Early 16th century, these straight walls could not do much against the cannonball. And what we're going to see is one room, all the 900 rooms. It's not possible to see them, but it's the most important. Now we walk upstairs, pyral ramp that is known as horses stair, Scala dei Cavalli. We use eventually to go up and down on horseback. The blue section called Corte Nuova, the new court. And the pink section is Corte Vecchia, old oil painting on wet plaster. It does not work. The imitation marble, it's perfect. The statues, 2,000 years, are Roman copies of original Greek statues. She moved uh, all her belongings as a widow to this new apartment. She was the ruler. She did well, she was smart. She went to talk back with the King of France, with the Pope, how to manage from the castle where we were, uh, here. She was portrayed by Leonardo da Vinci. She kept all her most beautiful treasures in this tiny room that she called that room. They are empty, but they are once filled with uh, official letters written in Latin but many letters on very private matters written in vulgar Italian. So we know also what we should do. We will spend the morning in Trent. It will be a discovery. Plenty that you know. After lunch, we'll see toward Brixton. The city of Trent receives a high number of visitors from Germany for its heritage. They had a prince bishop from the castle of Buon Consiglio, having also secular power. This lasted for many centuries. In 1518, Martin Lutero wanted reformation, corruption that was going on through the Catholic Church, basically asking money for the forgiveness of the sin. For the Protestants, you don't need the interpretation of a priest to helping you understanding the Word of God. What happened next is the counter-reformation, so the reaction of the Catholic Church to this this type of division. The Council of Trento was an ecumenical council that took place in the city of Trento and lasted a number of years to re-establish the doctrine. For 
sure the reality is also more complex. But this is an interesting perspective to look at the effect of the Council of Trent. Aqua Calda. It was boiling. The cafe in the fire. Okay. And the coffee was coming out from here. Ah, okay. It has two chambers inside. For me, it's somewhere the cafe. <laughs> it's a samovar of coffee. Ah, since he's already. Do you want. See? Si? attend a course and then the being in the wood that behave as a sort of wild boar I mean always watching on the ground that you have to use a basket not a plastic bag the spores of the mushroom has to go on the ground where you collect them you need a knife to cut it and to clean it the same spot so I can recognize easily porcini but this is something that probably you can recognize as well so you want to go for dinner to a friend that is someone collecting mushroom is a good friend <laughs> the place where I live it is the mushroom of the mother-in-law Seems it kills you slowly. <laughs> the Baroque style is linked also to kind of contrast the style of the Protestant church. The Roman Catholic Church actually were entering a sort of Baroque style, so patronizing artists and celebrating the richness of the churches in terms of decoration, excess, gold. And you can imagine it was also sort of, let's call it advertisement. Uh, you had to attract believers and people in your own. This is the best religion you can have. Look how much richness is 